How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Colina Legacy. There is something just making a lot of skittering sounds that I'm not a fan of in this game. One bit. I don't, I don't know if I want to go down the ladder. Yeah, let's go down the ladder. Sure, why not? Okay, I think we're all good here. Not dying quite yet. Very blue. Very blue area. To be honest. Nope. Not if I can stop you. I can barely stop you. Ow oh no, he's got the he's got the distance now. Okay, that was he barely touched me. Gotcha. Okay, this puppet string. Nope, no puppet string. Okay. What's going on here? It's a very weird area. I still don't have power to the place yet either. Gotta be honest, I really need to get that power. Is it destroyed? I wonder what could have broken it like that. What do you mean, is it destroyed? It's a coffin. It's only destroyed if the body's flopping out of it. Like, I guess technically it's a sarcoph sarcophagi, maybe? Sarcophagus? Sarcophagi would be the plural, I guess. But still, it's kind of weird. Raise it that way. Hey, look at where we are. There's a dude. Please die before you get to me. Thank you. Whoa. Wow, okay. That was just kind of weird. But sure. Right, ooh, love a string. Grab that for sure. I'm actually wondering now what's going to happen if we run out of power before we can get these things going. I and mean, you got a crank. I don't know what that does. But, oh, we're going to crank it. Don't you worry. That might not have been the right way, to, right way to crank it. How do I know which way to crank it? I guess. Okay, well, first of all, yeah. It only seems to line up a certain angle. Like, that lines up. So I'm guessing we're done there. Let's check this out. How's the art look? Yep, that's... Is that what we what we want? I don't... What did I just do? Oh! Oh, wait. Do I have to go from pillar to pillar? I just can't... I can't just crank the one thing and go and like, be done with it. I gotta crank each thing individually? Oh, no. Okay, well, instead, let's take a look at what's down here. No power. It's not a power won't budge. Okay, not supposed to go down here. We learned that the hard way. Because, like, the other, when we did the amulet test, it let me hit E to continue through. I don't know if I hit E. I think I hit up and down on my keys. And W, D. A and S running around, but I don't know. We'll give it a go. Let's see if I can still, if I can choose the other ones. Seems weird, but oh, oh! I can hit D. I was hitting up because I think I had to go upward for some reason. All right, so we have to work. Let's. That, that makes that makes so much more sense. We just work from the bottom up. So we're looking. For, we're looking for. There you go. And now we, uh, we got we got a baby butt. Yeah, that looked perfect. Now. So now we gotta spin this around. We gotta basically make a picture of angels crawling up the pillar, it looks like. Maybe not even angels, they kinda look like cherubs more in my opinion. At least that's, that's what I uh, that's what I figure. And then we got the foot on the left hand side, so we're just gonna spin the other way. Nope, not that way. Like that, maybe? Yeah, I think that's it. The other ones don't make sense. And then there's a body there, so I'm assuming we need a head. There we go, there's one. Perfect. Hey, look at that. Wow, that was one of four. Woo! I, not to mention, I have to go all the way back now. Get those. Oh, a note. Here comes time, an enigma. He passes by unseen. His eyes are so keen and so sharp, soaring across the eons of the universe. He sings a tune of both, both darkness and light. 
While he watches the eternal fight, he observes all of his siblings. He holds dear as they take up arms against one another. He bears the endless burden of always knowing, recording. Sounds like me. I was recording games. He bear, no matter how long it takes, no matter how many suns die, earths di disappear and are born, and all of the skies that turn ashen, time remains vigilant. I mean, time also is how long it takes to steep your tea. You want to make a nice cup of tea? I mean, a lot of times people will just like drop the tea bag in and then they're done. I'm one of those people. But then I know some hardcore tea enthusiasts. There was a thing I saw at a Renaissance fair that was literally a hourglass that had, it was black, white, it had black sand, white sand, and green sand. And when you make a cup of tea, you would flip it upside down and follow whichever color sand matched your tea. Like if you're making a black tea or a dark tea, uh, you would do the black or green tea. You do uh, the green, of course. That makes sense. But like, I'm just like, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean you take the tea out? No, no, you leave the tea in there. You make that stuff as strong as possibly can. You want that stuff to like, to be 100% caffeine by the time it hits my stomach. Right, do you want to please die? There we go. Thank you very much. No puppet string? Oh, there we go. Yeah, got ourselves a puppet string. All about that string. All right, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can actually use the fuel on the generator. Yeah, power outage. Yeah, turn on the generator. Know it. Boosh. All right, so let's, let's battery charge this up. Take a short break. And we'll get back once the batteries are done. All right, we got ourselves some batteries, fully charged batteries. Let's pop these bad boys back into our back into our flashlight now we have the elevator that we can actually operate finally too which is great I don't know if the gas actually is going to or the generator is eventually going to run out of gas but we made our way up here which is actually not that bad because now we can go back down and go through oh wait you're back why are you back oh and there you go I mean, I was gonna shoot you with the the death gun I have. A death. Sorry, sorry, it's not a gun. That's right. It is a death uh, glyph. Still, still not so certain on the whole glyph thing. So, from what I'm understanding about this, is that these glyphs are like. Can I go back here? These glyphs are like spells from the other world. What is this? I don't... Oh. Oh, wait, I can leave this temple? Oh, wait, to come in here, I went... Where does this lead to? To come in here, I went down the ladder in the well. I'm, like, fighting my headphones right now. This is kind of weird. But to come in here, I went down the well. Where is this? Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool, we're here. And guess what else is here? Don't, don't, don't. Listen here, buddy. I gotta switch over to the Glyph of Light. And now I can do this, whatever this is. I don't know why I just did this. A man of the north of yours. Is this statue wounded somehow? That can't be possible. Okay, that's actually cool to know that this statue is wounded. I'm assuming we're gonna have to use this puzzle at some point. So, sure. Dude, where are the Sphinx? It lies. Is there an actual Sphinx in this game? The the design of everything is all over the place, which, to be honest, I kind of like. It doesn't have a, co a coherent source material. I guess is the best way I can describe it. Like, it's picking and choosing out of a whole bunch of mythologies. Like, cool moments of each, and then adding a splice of its own take to it along with some pretty heavy HP Lovecraft influences for certain all this talk of elder gods and everything like that which I mean if you know me I love HP Lovecraft speaking of which oh come on oh come on he hit me right as he was dying that was unfair all right we gotta pull the string I'm a heal boosh take that <laughs> that's something I want to grab Alright, first of all, you missed, you nerd. 
Second. Okay, you didn't miss that time. Still a nerd. You'll never not be a nerd. Wait, that was the delayed reaction? Okay. No, please stop. Okay. So it's like I wasted the puppet string for nothing. Oh, I got another one. Cool. Not as bad as I thought then. So we got three things we need to crank. Shouldn't be that bad. I hear, I hate this area, the skittering. I hear something crawling around constantly. <coughs> so, I guess I go this way. I don't remember this. Uh, which way I'm going here? Nope, this isn't it. That is a ladder, th or an elevator. Is that powered? Oh, I can operate the elevator now. I don't know if I want to, but I can. That's good. That may, that may be like part of the fact because I did use the gasoline on that one generator. Maybe it's like powering everything down here for a, f a moment, just a couple of moments. I don't know if it actually is like, I don't know if it's using gas or if it's just like a key and it unlocks the, the generator. For a little, okay, you are such a jerk right now. Listen up, buddy. Listen up, bucko. Yeah. Take that, you better give me a puppet string. Give me the puppet string. Give me the puppet string. You're a jerk. I just got down on the ladder. You poor heart. All right, left or right? I don't remember which way I went. I'm just gonna go, oh, wait. Um, I went right last time. Do I wanna go right this time? Cause there's the broken sarcophagus. Let me go to the left this time, just see what's around here. Who knows, maybe we'll end up with a cool little area like we did we found last time or the extra door into the area and then we could ha ah, you missed you ain't got the reach there you go puppet string yeah puppet string woo woo uh, okay that's actually where the generator that we powered up is so good to know that I guess we just keep going down, trying to find all of the places to crank. Nothing in there. Going up a little bit. It was got renewed. Just got really itchy all of a sudden. Nope, this one we already did. Oh, Jesus. I hear footsteps, I think. Oh yeah, he's coming he's coming after us. Nope. Laters. So wait, where were the Oh god, where were the cylinders at then? Now I'm annoyed at myself. I don't know where I'm going. That thing might be chasing after me still. Alright. Well, we powered that elevator. Let's go back up it. And then we can loop around instead of going across the giant thing. We go to the other side. Hopefully find more of those pillars that we have to start cranking up. Yep, operate the elevator. Oh, I can't I can't just get off there. What's our character doing? Very blurry right now. Okay, so what I thought was something. What is that? Oh, uh, that's the the vine. Okay. Yeah, what I thought was something crawling was actually just the sound of fire. Fire sounds like something crawling in this game quite a bit. All right, listen up, Chumpo. Yeah, take that. You don't like that, do you? You don't like the death glyph. Okay. First of all, rude. Second of all, please get away. Please get away. Yeah, there you go. I'm a champion who asks you to please get away nicely. So we went to the other side. We want to check this area out. We open up this room at least, this door here. We did last time. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. That's right. We did not. I had a fever dream apparently that we did. There we go. Pillar should be coming up soon, I think. Maybe not. 
Maybe not. No. Nope, no pillars here. Where am I thinking I saw a pillar? There we go, that's the one I was looking at. There's a lot here, holy crap. Oh, it's actually, no. They're just smaller. They're very much smaller. Break that. Break that soldier boy. Break that, there you go. So it looks like we want to have this red base here, that's good. Oh, that's actually like on par, on perfect right there. So we just gotta fix... The top part? Maybe? No, it's not perfect. I think... Oh, we need to do this. There we go. We, we need a Rhino Warrior there. There we go. Obviously, we need a Rhino Warrior in the correct position. Now, if, your Rhino, if your Rhino Warrior is not in the correct position, you're going to have a bad time. That's all you can say. All right, and I've got a few more pillars to find. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to locate these pillars and we're gonna pick up in the next episode once I found one. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm killing this dude, I just hate this thing so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please let me know in the comments down below. And I love hearing that you guys are liking the videos. Uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, make sure you're subscribed to get updates for nice new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, oh, there's a note. Imagine waking up and realizing you are no longer in your body. Imagine you are a version of yourself, waking up in an entirely new world, but yet so familiar you can barely spot the subtle differences. But if one was observant enough, you might be able to notice it. Imagine that this other version of you was the new you because upon waking up in this new world, the previous you was gone for an eternity. I had a dream like this in which I saw sat in the void and could see the multiple dimensions in all its doors. In this void, seemingly constructed as a catacomb of all my former selves, I realized how I had been one of many. I could see all these versions of me that had come before, that had died only to be reborn again, again in the same form, but yet nearly imperceivably divergent. After discussing the dreams, the Grandmaster requested I document my findings and continue to visit the void and familiarize myself with its intricacies. He asked me to write in a language I was wholly unfamiliar with, and when I informed him of this, he asked me to drink an elixir I had not known was in the order of possession. Allow the Sphinx to write through you, he told me, simply, and I obeyed. I know what you might be thinking that perhaps was under some sort of drug, but I assure you, as true as flesh and bone, all these dreams were real. And make sure you're subscribed to get updates on this new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.